Hey you guys, it's Megan and I am trying on this jacket that I just got. I love it so, so much. It's this long, oh my gosh, don't <laughs> disregard this. Um, it's this long puffer jacket. You can't even see how long it is. It literally goes like what to my, past my knees. Um, and I'm just a mess right now. But anyway, um, I love this so much. I just keep petting it. Like, I think it's so cute and chic. And I only get long jackets like this because I live in Pennsylvania and it gets very, very cold here. And um, the pockets, on the inside of the pockets, is like fleece. So it's really nice and cozy. Um, and I think it'll be perfect for like staying warm, but looking really cute. And all the reviews said to size down. And I was really nervous to do that because with like winter coats, I always want to err on the side of it being too big because I'm gonna have like bulky sweaters on and stuff. But I trusted what like a lot of reviews said and so I got a medium in this, which I never would size down to a medium. Like I would always get either a large or an extra large in a winter jacket, normally a large, um, cause they do kind of account for um, bulky sweaters but I totally agree. You should size down in this coat, which is from Abercrombie. And um, I got it on a really great sale. I would definitely wait for a sale, which I'm sure they'll be doing more of throughout the rest of the year. Um, but I know I'm gonna get so much use out of this and I don't have any black winter coats, which is shocking because like all I wear is black. <laughs> Not as much these days, I don't know why, but um, I just love it. I think it looks so, so good, feels good, good sleeve length. Like that's the other thing. If you size down, sometimes the sleeves are like up here. Um, so yeah, very happy with this. Um, and it just seems like really nicely made. So it's just like a quilted type of a pattern. It does have a hood and it even like buttons up and stuff so you can get really like cozy but yeah I just love this so much and I was like really nervous about it coming in today because I didn't want to have to return it and I'm pretty sure they're sold out of larges like that's why I got the medium because it said to size down and they were sold out of large so it was the right thing to do anyway definitely the right size and i literally have the prettiest green eyeshadow on um from the ColourPop rudolph palette i use the greens today and i absolutely love it um but i also got these sunglasses that i really want to show you guys so what do you think I love these. They are, and my hair is like not cooperating. These sunglasses definitely look better with your hair down anyway. And my hair is like, I need to wash it. So it's like not gonna look its best. But like, these are such like a vibe. Like Rachel said, I look like V from BTS. And I love them. Um, they're very Gucci-esque to me. And then these ones are just like, House of Gucci, Patrizia, like 100%. I just think these are amazing. And I bought these on Amazon, literally two pairs for $18. Like it came in a set. So you really can't beat that. And yeah, so I just kind of like dived in and just like started talking to you guys. But um, how, are, how are you doing? <laughs> My car's in the shop right now. And of course they called and were like, we found like this brake fluid or something that hasn't been changed. And I was like, okay, let's do it. Cause like, I want to just trust that I need to get that done. But then it's like 150 bucks. And I was like, <laughs> I thought that was gonna be like 50 bucks. Like I have no idea. I'll bring you guys along as always. And if you love vlogs, be sure to subscribe because I do my weekend vlogs every Saturday. And I've been trying to do at least like a midweek vlog um, since I'm not officially doing Vlogmas this year. Um, just because it's 
a lot of commitment and time and everything so I am trying to post at least two vlogs a week for you guys because I know you love them which just makes me so happy so anyway I am going to get back to the grind but I wanted to use our like waning sun um to show you the coat and the sunglasses because in like 30 minutes it'll be pitch black and like no one likes that no one likes the winter with the darkness and the depression and everything so yeah we well i was watching this but then i went up um a little bit ago but my family is watching the rest of shang chi on disney plus i think the first like hour and 15 minutes is like amazing like i could re-watch that all the time but then i don't know i just don't find the rest of it to be as interesting um so i went up to do my skincare and stuff and now i'm going to repaint my nails and watch um the last episode of great british bake off for season nine um i'm like I have no idea who's gonna win so I'm like really stressed out but I wanted to show you that I currently have on Cirque Colors um, Velveteen. This is one of my favorite nail polishes ever. It has this amazing like orangey copper shift but it's like a deep um, like blue like grayish blue and you can see like those little holographic sparkles. It is like magic like it makes me think of harry potter um when i see this nail polish and i just love it but i'm ready to switch it up so i pulled out um a essie um holiday color that i bought last year on either ebay or amazon from a few seasons ago that's called under wraps and it's like this gorgeous emerald green with like hollow sparkles and it's just so pretty so I can't wait to repaint my nails can't wait to watch Bake Off and so I'm just kind of having a relaxing chill evening morning you guys it's Saturday and I still have wet hair I was running late this morning I'm taking Rachel to one of her friends houses outside of Philly and so I I think my mom's coming with me um so we might like go to king of prussia or something like that so i wanted to look like kind of cute um just in case but i'm wearing this um plaid shirt from abercrombie and then here let me try to set you up so i'm wearing this plaid shirt from abercrombie that i got this um pleather blazer that i got from express a while ago and then just black pants or dark jeans and black boots and i did like the fastest makeup of my life just trying to <laughs> get ready in time so oh and i'm gonna wear my um these new glasses which are now a little foggy because they were in my hair but i think that's just like adds to the cool vibe i was trying to go for um i wanted to wear like an oversized blazer but it didn't look right i don't know so anyway we're gonna hit the road i love rachel's outfit today i said it's very g idol which if you know k-pop you know yeah yeah i love those pants on you very nice <laughs> look and she's wearing lip gloss mm -hmm. i can't believe it and a little bit of highlighter oh can yeah can you shift yeah, we would be able to see in the sun, <laughs> but cute! Me and Mom are at first watch in Abington, and our food looks amazing. She got the bacado yeah. omelet. We got this delicious looking like cinnamon roll, pecan, caramel, caramel amazingness to share. And I got the excellent egg sandwich or something like that. It looks and smells delicious. We found a target, of course, and look at this. It has an escalator for another level. Cause we were like, where's all the home decor? And it's definitely up there. <laughs> Here we go. It's so exciting. <laughs> oh my gosh, our ornaments. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> we had no idea. <laughs> We're noobs. <laughs> Our targets are always one level. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, there's all the Christmas stuff, Mom. <laughs> We finally found the Christmas jackpot. I actually bought this yesterday at our Target. Um, it's like a gold pine cone tree. Oh, and we got these like letter ornaments by Opal House that we thought were really pretty. And my mom already had a set of these and loved them, so we're getting another set. We're home now, and I wanted to show you a few things that we got at Trader Joe's. So they have all their like Christmas and holiday stuff out. So I got some of my favorites, the dark chocolate covered peppermint Jojos, which are like chocolate covered Oreos with like candy cane bits. I love these. And then the gingerbread people, um, they're like, little gingerbread um, cutouts with icing on it and it is so good. I've been getting those since college. Um, this looked really good, the dark chocolate roasted pistachio toffee. So it's like mm, all the things we love. I got this because I love truffle flavor but like my family doesn't. So we don't get anything that's seasoned with truffle um, so they had this truffle powder seasoning, and so you can just like sprinkle this on top of whatever, and so I can have my truffle flavoring, but not bother anyone else. So, loved that. Um, toffee chips, I don't know if these are seasonal or not, but they're like, um, toffee, like little chunks covered in chocolate so that sounds good to us and then my mom loves this oh my god she's obsessed with this the danish kringle and like what is it mom it's, you don't like it because it has that <laughs> almond flavor. oh it's like almond it's like a pastry it's delicious okay does it have like icing uh it's like a glaze oh a glaze okay so like it's something that's hard to find, basically, um, but Trader Joe's has it. So if you're interested in that, check out Trader Joe's. But we didn't really go wild because we couldn't get anything perishable, but I'm gonna go upstairs and pick out a new book and read these, or er, not read these cookies, eat them while reading. <laughs> I started reading The Night She Disappeared by Lisa Jewell and I fell asleep, I was so comfortable. Um, but I made like pretty good progress on it. It is really good, like it's heating up right now. So it has three different perspectives and timelines from before um, the disappearance, like right basically when it happened and then afterwards. It's so good, it's so good. I don't wanna give anything away because I think it's gonna be really good. So um, yeah, if you like thrillers, definitely check out Lisa Jewell. She has like a million books, like her list of books is insane. I've read a few of them, but um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to continuing reading this. Morning, you guys. It's Sunday. I am like in a very like, I don't know. I feel like I'm like London, like london fashion vibes today or something um but <laughs> i just picked up starbucks and today what i did um in my vanilla sweet cream cold brew was swap the vanilla syrup for the sugar cookie because i had that latte when um i visited chloe and then Alyssa reminded me of it so let's see how that like tastes in this Mmm. Oh my god. That is a good swap. It like goes with the vanilla sweet cream um like flavor, but then adds this like almost like toasted marshmallow flavor. It is absolutely delicious. Oh my god. New favorite discovery. So I'm heading to the bagel place because my mom needs bagels and I'm running very late today. It's almost 11 a.m. Um, but, you know, it's Sunday. All I have to do today is finish reading my book because I read more than half of it last night. It was so good and I can't wait to get home and continue reading it. But yeah, just a nice chill day. Yesterday me and mom got some like plastic ornaments that we put in our bushes and you can really see it like during the daytime. And I think it looks so good.
We also put some in these trees that have more like branches. And I love this little corner my mom did um, with some like more pink type of ornaments. And then this like bowl with some of those opal house ornaments and then some other like pink and purple ornaments. I just think that looks so pretty. I just finished the night she disappeared and it was so good. So, so, so good. Um, I mean, I read it in two days, probably in 12 hours total or less. It was so, like, just well done. Like, the characters were, like, developed. I cared about them. Like, the story made sense with their motivations. It made sense till the end. Like, there wasn't really plot holes. It was so good, you guys. I would highly recommend this. Um, I've read a few of Lisa Jewell's books, and this is definitely my favorite. Um, highly recommend it. Like, if you're looking for a thriller, this is a great one. Probably one of the best, definitely one of the best I read this year. Um, and yeah, so five out of five for me. Absolutely loved it. And yeah. So <laughs> that's actually the 50th book I read this year. So I just have two more to go to hit my goal of 52 books for the year. So I'm gonna have to pick two more quick ones because it's already December 5th. <laughs> so I'm gonna need to uh, fly through two more. But yeah, that was so, so good. I think I'm gonna read We Were Liars next because I asked you guys what book I should read next on my Instagram and one of you guys suggested this and said that it made you feel like you were losing your mind when you were reading this. So that is very intriguing to me and yeah, I've wanted to read this book for a while so I think I'm just gonna keep on the thriller train and um, yeah, so I'll let you know how this one goes. You guys, it literally feels like it's like 10 p.m. It is 6 p.m. And <laughs> I'm like ready to go to bed, honestly. But um, I think I'm gonna start this book and just like chill, probably call it an early night, but not this early, cause that's like crazy. Um, but <laughs> I hope you guys all have had a great weekend. Thanks so much for spending some time with me today and I'll see you soon, bye.